hasn't really looked like it so far this year. And The Great Outdoor Sale going on now at Family Leisure. Step right up, folks. Raising Hope is the best side show in town. I hope I'm not too late for the swimsuit competition. Featuring the world's strongest man. I'm lifting a car! This family is always clowning around. Raising Hope. Tomorrow at midnight on CW23. This week, the Hayes family from Bloomington competes on Family Feud. Root for the home team and watch them play the feud. Tuesday at 6 on CW23. And welcome to the Sports Show. Mike Max, Patrick Royce, Lunani back in town, and Sid Hartman. Sydney, how are you? I'm okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, if you don't know, who does? If you don't know, who does? Let's talk about the Twins' big picture here, as we have each and every week. But, uh, you know, they, they show a little life once in a while, but uh, that's to intercept a five-game losing skid. Have you ever now in your career, do you remember, a start to a season like this that left such little help, hope? Well, I had Terry Ryan on the radio today. He hasn't given up. He talked about how many, what they got, 125 games after. So to me, the one player that is really disappointing to me is Dozer. He started out like a house on fire last year, and then he went into a complete slump, and now he's back in that old slump he, he was last year. And then you got the great uh, Joe Maurer, uh, I know Ricey knows more about, a lot more about baseball than I do, but the first time they played Baltimore, the first time they, they played Kansas City, the first time they played Cleveland and uh, in Detroit, uh, he hit. All of a sudden, they seem to found some answer. It's, yeah, and it's he, hard to figure in a veteran, you know. He's down to 266. So. Yeah. Yeah, those numbers are real average. Uh, Identical to last year. Yeah. He was good the first month, and then they hit the wall. And I don't think it's pitchers adjusting. I think he's. I don't. I don't think he's physically uh, what he used to be. And uh, he wears. Uh, you know, he starts wearing down. Last year he was. Uh, you know, he had a good first month, and he, it appeared he was getting the ball on the fat part of the bat more this year. But uh, he's the same as last year. He is what he is. He's going to hit. 265 and get on base some. He is what he 10 is. 10 home runs, 12 home it's, runs. Uh, you know, he's, he's, it, this, is the, this is the new reality. Everybody expected Joe to pop up and hit. We, we were talking about this last week, and, and maybe in hockey terms, you get a people up, and sometimes people want to see the future, and they say season them, but it doesn't do you a lot of good to bring up people that obviously aren't ready. Not at all. Uh, how, how do you, how do do you them measure that? Either. It doesn't do them a lot of good. That's what I mean. Well, he, Actually, when, you, when you're bringing people up, you should be bringing them up because they're ready to play and you think that they're going to help you. Well, sometimes you're punishing somebody, aren't you, by sending them down and then you just got to bring somebody up? Well, I, I, don't, uh, I don't like that sending people down just because you want to punish them. I, well, I don't Eddie like Rosario got sent down because I know that. Them, I know so. that. I just, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But he was also I think, hitting 200. <laughs> yeah, but that, I, I'm not saying whether he, he was sent down for that or not, but it, to me it was just like... Uh, I want to say it's three years ago they sent Scandella down like that. Yeah. After he played so well, and then he had four or five games that he wasn't as good. The rest of the defense weren't very good either. He was a young guy. They sent him down. That that blows my mind. I just do not like that. But here's the deal. Let me say this about him. He, I mean, I wouldn't call it punishment as much as you got to get your head back where the sun shines. You know, now, don't you think that's it? I mean, he's playing like an idiot. So, well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so what but, do you got to do? But now question two is, what if nobody's earned the opportunity to come up to the big league? Well, then you sign some guy yeah. who just got released by <laughs> Cleveland yeah. and bring him up and yeah. give him a shot. I'm sorry. The thing is, when they won the World Series in 87 and 91, they brought up Herbeck, they brought up Puckett. Well, they brought him up in 82. They, they didn't produce right away, but they produced certainly better than these guys. I would make a case that they showed more signs well, than what we're seeing right well, now. Well, Herbeck said damn near won the Rookie of the Year in 82 with very little time, and Pot hit from the beginning. He got four hits. And Gaddy gave you some... I mean, they, these, those guys were much more ready than this collection. 
Here's the big problem to me, though. You say, okay, get rid of some of these veterans. There's no market for Dozier. You know, there's you know, there's no market for Mullen in Alaska. There's no market for these guys. You can't you can't trade Dozier for nothing. But I would certainly like to see him move Dozier and play this Polanco kid at second base because I think he's ready to hit. But what do you do? Okay. If, what if what do you do if you can't get anything? Yeah. Now I have been told by people who know more about it than I that Sano is on the fringe of being a major problem. That there are people that want to send him down, and the only reason he's up is because he's part of the Can marketing you send package. Him down? Can you send him down? Yeah, you can oh, send him down. That's no problem. Yeah, you get options on him. But, but the, this problem is so pervasive that, that, that his work habits, that they've, tried, that they've tried at great length to bring people in to work with him, and he's not taking it in. He doesn't know what it means to be a professional. What would you do, Louis? Well, it's a, it's a tough question. I, I don't know how bad he is at not working or how much they, they work with him. You hate to... You hate to think that just by going down that all of a sudden something's going to click. I think maybe when you've got that kind of possibility of being a really good player, so you've got, you got the ability. Yeah, it's been you got to work with them. I'll yeah. tell you this: if you send Rosario oh, down there and then Sano, you ought to give Mike Quaddy about three million dollars a year as the manager <laughs> down there instead of you know. If you want him to fix these guys that can't be fixed here, the thing is, I never see a guy, a guy swinging such bad pitches as he swings when he strikes out. And I think the problem is they don't think he cares that much or that he studies that and figures out why he did that. It's just uh, hard to understand. In fact, the whole team, they swing in bad pitches. They, uh, they don't uh, make those pitchers work like they should make them work. But uh, I don't see where there's any hope for these guys. Here's another thing. They don't have a defensive outfield. That's worth a darn. So those pitchers don't get the breaks they would get with a good outfield. If you have a good outfield and makes big catches, you, you save some runs. The well, pitchers it, work. It was pretty good Saturday, but that's because yeah. he had two 30 year olds playing. But uh, uh, here's I wrote that Sano column basically in the end of March that the guy, instead of losing 15 pounds, had gained 15 pounds, and they the blogosphere and all these people wanted to drag me through the streets for uh, <laughs> through, for questioning uh, his work ethic, but uh, that's the deal. He just doesn't, you know, all you had to know, know is that while the twins were telling us that he was down in Florida taking fly balls every day, he was in Dominican hanging with his pals for a couple of weeks at a resort. So. And I was yeah. told they've even assigned a mentor to him who finally said, I'm done. You guys figure it out, because I'm done trying to help. You know, one thing people forget <laughs> or don't think about, but the mind is like the ability. To, it's as much an asset or even more so than yes. the ability to hit, the ability to run, the ability to play defense. Tom Kelly's famous yeah. line, right? That mind's a dangerous thing. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's something, boy. And they, and they got that's the first thing they got to fix. Do you believe in the in the psychology that, that teams need to be heavily invested in one way, shape, or form in psychology, whether it's psychologists or whatever? How do you go? You everybody knows how important it is, but do you believe that teams need to be heavily invested in trying to figure out these guys' character, intrinsic, all that stuff? Well, I believe, I believe strongly in it because I think we were the first ones to to give those kind of tests to players, and I, I think that. Uh, as we see everything evolve in sports, you're seeing massage uh, therapists now on teams. You're seeing uh, every kind of medical and physical kind of guy. So a, a psychologist or a sports psychologist would be a, a big plus as well. Right, and they just got to be careful yeah. that you don't overdo that part yeah, of it, right? exactly. The psychology might have been Tory Hunter last year. Psychologist, yeah. Yeah, he uh, can be but, everything. But you, you know, you're, 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 you're way overvaluing yeah, that. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I don't know if that's the whole story, but I go in the clubhouse after the game, and if a guy had a bad day, he's sitting talking to him. He, uh, I think he had a big influence on some of these okay. guys. Well, you, you can say it's the only good year they've had, and the last six was the year he was here, I guess. Take a break, come back. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Cambria, makers of quality quartz surfaces. Ticket King, for the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. RSM, this is the power of being understood. This is RSM. 
BMW of Minnetonka. Choose from 60 certified pre-owned BMWs at BMW of Minnetonka and Bobby and Steve's Auto World. Go to bobbyandstevesautoworld.com for huge savings on everything from convenience store items to everything under the hood of your car. be them. You got looks and money. What about you? You got <laughs> most of your hair. They're America's most wanted men. Do you have any shame? No. Why? <laughs> two and a half men. Two episodes tomorrow starting at 9.30 on CW23. Drive a few miles to get a million miles at Barnett, the only Twin Cities Kia dealer with the million mile warranty. Yes, the only one. And it's free. Now at Barnett, get two payments on us, plus no payments till October, plus 0% financing, or lease an Optima for $169 a month with zero down. At Barnett, we go the extra million miles. Barnett Kia, home of the million mile warranty. Shop online or learn more about the million mile warranty at barnettkia.com. Barnett. An odometer under 15,000 miles and an up to five-year, 75,000-mile warranty makes it elite. The way it does this makes it a BMW. Introducing BMW Certified Pre-Owned Elite. Choose from 60 certified pre-owned BMWs at BMW of Minnetonka. Looking for a nice, big, juicy rack of ribs, fabulous chops, huge steaks, and the Buddy Bowl? Then J.D. Hoyt's is the place for you. Hoyt's opened in 1983, and Mike Andrews and his partner John White have kept this Minnesota tradition at the top of the food chain. Managing owner Pat Montague gives us a tour. At J.D. Hoyt's, enjoy a relaxed atmosphere, great food, friendly service, private dining room, second to none happy hour just blocks from the new ballpark. Located at 394 in North Washington. Locally owned, nationally known. Hoyts. J.D. Hoyts, downtown Minneapolis on your way to a ball game or anywhere else. J.D. Hoyts Supper Club, say hi to Pat in the whole game. Welcome back to the sports show. It's a wonderful time of the year that we haven't experienced at this stage for some time in Minnesota, but that is the NBA and the NHL when they get to the conference final stage. Sid, what's, what's your first click on the dial? Do you go NHL playoffs, <laughs> NBA playoffs? What do you do? I was going to bring something else up. Oh, okay. Look at the Yankees. They mm -hmm. got the biggest payroll in baseball, and they're in last place in the Eastern Division. So how do you figure that out? Don't Some look. of those guys that really produced last year aren't producing this year. The Angels, they're paying that first baseman. Pools, Trout, that whole gang. Yep. And he's Pools. not doing Pools. nothing. Pools is having a tough time. Yep. But look at uh, the Yankees. Don't look now, but they're going to make the playoffs. Once it's all said and done. Well, Sebastian well, looks like he's got a little something if, back again. Well, if they're ahead after six innings, they win a game. So yeah. they're, gonna, they're starting to play better now. Louis, is this uh, NHL playoffs played out like you like? And how far away are the Wilds from being able to play in this round? Well, it's... Uh, it's, I think it's a situation where any of these four teams can win. And I, I really am enjoying it. I, if I was to go out on a limb and pick a team to pick, I'd have to pit, pick Pittsburgh, but I'm not so sure I'm picking right. How did Tampa survive all that they went through this year and end up here? Well, because those, those guys, first of all, their goaltender, Bishop, is terrific. And now the young kid's playing really well, too. But they got a lot of balance and, and offensive power up front. And the main thing right now is they're doing it without Stamkos. So now they're sitting there thinking, well, if we can do this well without Stamkos, and he doesn't take, they, they already offered him $8 million, and you know Toronto's going to give him 10 And And if he doesn't take it, they probably won't give him 10 because they got to pay six uh, restricted free agents they got. But the Wild, 
Well, got a, a couple players to go to get to where they are right now. How about this Castle kid? He's unbelievable. He scores. He scores goals. Castle has done this every year. He's a tremendous, consistent goal scorer. You're going to get that from him all the time. He is what he is, and and he's not going to be a leader in the clubhouse. He's not a great defensive player, but he is a guy that will you can count on year in and year out to get your 30 How goals. How they get him? They they made a deal Trading. because you know like Rutherford, the Pittsburgh general manager, said. You know, he made the deal for me. He says, why they always blame Kessel for Toronto's failings? Eight years he was there, eight years he was the best player. Year in and year out. <laughs> and and uh, sometimes you, you you look so much at the flaws and you forget yeah. about the, the positives that he's That's bringing true, you. Yeah. And you make a mistake and get rid of him. Patrick? Uh, well, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a Pittsburgh guy, too. I want some, I want Tampa Bay to lose because they won't let people with Pittsburgh I, I, jerseys I, sit anywhere in the stadium. But, uh, I, but that said, Tampa Bay's a, of the southern franchises that the NHL started, and it was like the first one. They're, they're, they're a hockey town now. They are well, really they good. Done they're something really good hockey They're really good grand town. every well, game. Well, Todd Liawicki did it going with, in there. Yeah, he got him And going. now you got Steve Griggs, who was yeah. here. He's taking Liawicki's place. But they see Eiserman's yeah. really a good GM. He is a good GM. He, and you know what I liked? I really liked the way he handled uh, Drew in. Because when yeah, Drew in's agent started, and I told him, I saw him, I was I saw him at the general that. manager meetings. I said, Steve, you did a, not only a great a great thing for the Tampa Bay Lightning. You did it for every team. Yeah. Every team watched what you did. And and he didn't give in to that kid. That kid went went home. He let him sit at home. He could sit forever. <laughs> and the kid came back, and he went to the minors like he should have, played very well. And now he's, now he's a star. Has Pittsburgh got great goals, doesn't he? Yeah, they do. That's that's the big thing that uh, no one's focusing on. Like uh, Allen in the a paper kid, was yeah. talking about... Uh, they should play Fleury more. Well, if you remember, Fleury won the cup with Pittsburgh, but after that, the next four or five playoffs he was in, he wasn't he wasn't great. He was letting in too many soft goals. Now they got Murray's playing pretty well. Who do you like in the NBA in the Final Four here? I don't know. I'm not so sure Oklahoma State can uh, win it. Oklahoma State. Well, a lot of people don't think they uh, can. A lot of people think Golden I mean, State. I will think be they got a chance. I think, of course, the uh, uh, Golden. Good, Golden uh, State, yeah. Curry's team is favored. Yeah. But uh, when that Durant is on and the other guy is on, uh, they Westbrook. can beat anybody. Look what happened last night. How do you figure that one out? Toronto? There was no contest. Gr uh, I think Cleveland mailed one in. Yeah, I do too. I think Cleveland will win it. But the great star from here got three points Gavin last Lump, night. Yeah. Yeah. I think Cleveland's going to win it. I think Cleveland's you know, win they've the only title. lost one game for the playoffs. I think playoffs. they're going to win the title. I think that this Thunder Warriors thing is going to go on for a while, and Cleveland's going to win the next two. And rest? Rest. Were you surprised by the moves that uh, Thibodeau made? I think a lot of us thought Bill no. Newton would be gone. I didn't know about I Rob Babcock was, uh, and the others. I want to say a few words about Will. We We're going to save team. that for the end of the show, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's take a break, come back, stay with us on the sports show. Hey guys! Hey mom! Keep the change, Frank. Same time next week. When it drives and looks like new, you'll want to treat it like new. Certified pre-owned by BMW. Choose from 60 certified pre-owned BMWs at BMW of Minnetonka. Watching CW23. Welcome back to the sports show. Gophers uh, kind of in play on the spring sports side of things. I want to send out a note too because Todd Oaks, one of the great guys, you know him well, in home hospice, the pitching coach, and the team went out and won the Big Ten title in baseball. Pretty sad on that uh, pitching coach. He had that thing licked twice, and uh, now it's come back. He's got no chance. Yeah, they, John Anderson is one of the greatest guys ever had at the University of Minnesota. In fact, I thought he should be the leading candidate for the athletic director. Why they didn't consider him is beyond me. And it's, and it's kind of strange. He has a way of raising money that nobody else in that department. But you never pushed him. Huh? You never pushed for him at the time. Yeah. 
Remember, you pushed for Beth Getz the whole time. That's probably why he didn't get in the race. Yeah. Uh, what's wrong with the guy they hired? They think we're in fine shape. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. they did good. Yeah. They did good. Who's worried about it? John's happy. I was talked to John after. I was over there when they won it on uh, Friday night, and they watched the video yeah, board yeah. and the game ended, and that was kind of cool. And and uh, I always love talking to John because yeah. I want to see what monumental obstacles are in front of the team because I love John, but he's a martyr, mm -hmm. right? But now he's got a nice facility. He raised the money. They got the batting cage. They had 1,700 people there. It was full. Everybody had a good time, but he, he told me the Vavra kid's uh, probably not going to play. So uh, He's not getting but, back on. He's but, a good one. But then today I saw that they were thinking about using him as a pinch hitter. So, but, hey, it. it's fun. It's it's fun that they, baseball has been successful and uh, and uh, and the softball has been successful. Yeah, women's uh, softball. Women's sports have been fantastic. Been unbelievable. I so you, you, have you had a chance to meet uh, Coyle? Mark yes, Coyle? I had lunch with him. And what did you think? I think we're very lucky to have him. I, I'm very impressed by the individual. I, I, I think he's the type of guy that comes and says, this is where I want to be. And there's no other job that he really wants. He's not looking to be successful, to move somewhere uh, else. How's he going to handle the Richard Patino stuff? All the... Uh, you know, you, you know, there's some things that got to be handled, but not as many as you're, you're making believe. You know, you guys get a little carried away in some of the well, stuff. Well, the team's the worst that's ever been. Yeah, that, so and that's what he so got. Yeah, and, and, and hopefully, with the recruits he had, they're going to be a better team. And if they're a better team, the attendance is going to go up. But the other stuff that, you know, not all the stuff, that's the thing he's got to focus on. That's what Patino's going to focus on, and hopefully he's successful. He so, just lost the best, maybe the best kid in the state. Uh, Reaver, no, the best kid in the state is Gary Trent Jr. But they're not going to get him either. Huh? The best kid in the state is Gary Trent Jr. Okay. But they're not going to get him either. This he's, kid's pretty good. I uh, saw him play several times. He's a really good player, and he'll do well at Wisconsin because he's that kind of player. Apparently, they didn't even try and recruit him. Not hard. They offered a scholarship late. Why? Because, I don't know. Ask that question. Talk, go talk to the basketball yeah, community because they've been asking these questions for a long time. Where's this John kid from? They like him better, apparently. Well, he's from Champlin, but he's yeah. a year younger. Yeah. And I watched him play just the other night. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> don't worry, folks. That's we cleaned up during Got the... my uh, pants. Sit. <laughs> go get some paper towels. Yeah. Oh, we'll get it. Let's take a break. We'll re we'll, I, I guarantee we'll regroup. Sid will take care of it, and we'll be back after this in the sports. Here's the thing. If you guys could go on a free shopping spree anywhere, where would you go? I'd go to the grocery store. Pizza, ice cream. I'd go shop for clothes. You know where i go? i go to Ticket King. Ticket King! At Ticket King, you can buy great seats for the Vikings, the Wild, the Timberwolves, and of course, the Twins. We love the Twins! Yep, this is where I go. Vikings, Twins, Wild, Timberwolves, Gophers, Theater, and Concerts, too. For details, go to TicketKingOnline.com. Any ticket, anytime, anywhere. It's the real thing. It's Ticket King. Right, Dad? Couldn't have said it any better myself. That's, That's for right. sure. Every step without hesitation. Anticipate your next move with certainty. Because our trusted advisors help you prepare for challenges specific to your business. Our focus is always on you, so your focus is always forward. Experience the power of being understood. RSM, audit, tax, and consulting for the middle market. You're watching CW23. Welcome back to the sports show. We lock Whitney. The name, uh, people probably familiar with the name don't realize how active he was in sports. Who wants to start this one? Sid, you want to start? We lock Whitney? Well, Passed away I this was week at the age of 89. In, uh, all of the sports come to this town. The old timers, well, we like Whitney, he was one of those greatest guys, 
who was always there, contributed money, just say, he was Mr. Perfect. I must have <laughs> 25 letters in my house that every time you met with him, he wrote you a letter. And he just was a super, super guy. You know, there's a, a bridge on Lindale and Hennepin where you go yeah. in there. He built that skyway in the... Uh, Honor of his bride. Of course Irene. of his Irene. wife. Mm -hmm. He built that uh, technical school. He did so many things for so many people and never the most humble guy you ever win. He was a Viking owner. He was all kinds of things. No, 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 guy. Glenn Nelson was yeah. very active in this fourth thing thing too because she was active. And those two guys like that in one week, boy, unbelievable. Patrick? You know what I'd forgotten until I read it? That in 1959, the Continental Baseball League was forming. I, I didn't know anything the about this. The Continental Baseball that. League is forming, and Wheelock was granted the Minis Minneapolis-St. Paul franchise, and that sort of led to expansion by the Major League Baseball. If it wasn't for Wheelock. Because that would have been a different league. Yeah, it was going to be an eight-team league. Yeah. That was in competition with Major League Baseball. Were you in on that, Sid? That if Continental it wasn't League. For Wheelock, Calvin Moves. We well, there were lots of people. He well, was Harvey McKay had a lot to do with that. Guy. I give Harvey all the credit. Him here. Harvey McKay had a lot to do with that. <laughs> huh? Harvey McKay had a lot to do with that. Harvey he organized McKay. it. <laughs> 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 Nothing to do he with did it. too. Louis Wheelock Whitney, you worked with him a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you you we reeled him in again. It's too easy today. Wheelock. <laughs> 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 Wheelock was one of our owners. And, yeah, the North Stars. Yeah, Is that and, right? He yeah. had a cut of oh, that, yeah, too? Yeah, he was oh, one of the ten I owners. But if you know him, as Sid said, he was just a wonderful individual, a great supporter of all the sports. Not only owned part of the Vikings, but before he did. And the Twins, he was a first-season ticket holder, and he went to so many games of football, hockey, uh, you know, and obviously the Twins. The guy was just a... A, a wonderful person, and he was a member of Augusta, which is very unique. Yes, that's for right. State yeah, of Minnesota. yeah, that's right. Is he I the think, first guy to get you on Augusta? No, Gordy Ritz was the first guy <laughs> to get me on. Gordy was the other guy. On well, Gordy was the other team, still. yeah. But Gordy and Wheelock, uh, they were uh, two of the three. There was one other member of Augusta from Minnesota, and, and a gentleman did, did from Wheelock, Duluth. Did Wheelock never seemed like he lost his temper. He was always never. Just, he was. Was that the way he was always? He or? was always like that. He was the most wonderful person. And and he and he as Sid says about his notes, every time he'd send you a Christmas card, there was always a note on it. Uh, he was he was an individual that really cared about people, enjoyed people, enjoyed being with people. You know what I liked about him? You he can make jokes like about uh, you, can, you can make jokes about Eugene McCarthy beating him sixty yep. to yeah. thirty nine percent. Yeah, can you imagine that? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, he got hammered, but he was. He ran for Senate in 64. Yeah. When Perfect Al, 82, right? Al, yeah. You know, Goldwater was running, yeah. and the, it was a Democratic landslide. So, yeah. Chris Carter had a terrible drinking problem. Right. And he took a yep. charge of him. That's right. I and, forgot about that. And, and straightened him out. And uh, if he'd have been in town, uh, Lou Holtz, when I coached uh, the Vikings, they, what do you mean if he'd have been in they, town? They were going to fire Green, and uh, they couldn't get the votes. Uh, he, one vote. He, he was out of town. Oh, at the time. when they voted on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wheelock and his wife Irene, his first wife Irene, were huge in the treatment community around here. The alcoholism yep. and chemical dependency treatment, and uh, had a whole lot to do with a lot of people getting sober. Sidney, 30 seconds left. Look in that camera and give us your final thought. I was sad about Wheelock, Whitney. Sad about Glenn Nelson. Great contributors made this city what it is today. Thank you. Sit well, out. Yeah. That's it. Back here next week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Sports Show. The Sports Show is brought to you in part by Cambria, makers of quality quartz surfaces. Ticket King. For the best price on tickets anywhere, try Ticket King. RSM. This is the power of being understood. This is RSM. BMW of Minnetonka. Choose from 60 certified pre-owned BMWs at BMW of Minnetonka. And Bobby and Steve's Auto World. Go to BobbyandSteve'sAutoWorld.com for huge savings on everything from convenience store items.